Good Monday morning. Have you ever noticed that often when quoting scripture, we might just quote a certain section and not really take it as a whole? One of those particular passages that I kind of had a revelation about myself was James 4, verses 6 through 7. Often we say, resist the devil and he will flee. But there's more to that passage of scripture. It actually begins this way. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. It starts off in verse six this way. It says, God gives, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. We don't like to think often about God opposing something, but any time, pride in and of itself is a movement towards self. So anytime you or I make this movement to be self-preserving or self-sufficient, or even self-pitying, those, those movements we make towards self are really, in essence, movements of pride. And God says, I oppose the proud, but I give grace to the humble. Nothing is more humbling than submission. When my little Sophie makes that movement where uh, the, maybe the treat's in my hand and there's this submission to me, or if I raise my voice, there's this submission to me, or just my mere presence. You know, she knows Denise is a chief dog that Sophie's not. And God gives grace when you and I are willing to submit. But there's more than that. When you and I live in a place of submission, then you and I live in a place of being able to resist the schemes of the enemy. And in that resisting, he can flee. I, this is an illustration I have. I know you're not supposed to open up umbrellas in, inside, but anyway. This is a picture, if you will, to me of submission. Submission is a picture of being under the umbrella of God, under the umbrella of His protection, under the umbrella of His authority, under the umbrella of His grace and mercy. This to me is what submission looks like. Now, when you and I move away from submission, then what happens? We are outside of the umbrella of His protection, of His blessing. And so many times we are living life here trying to resist the devil but this is, you can't resist the devil from this position. We resist the devil from this position. From a position of submission. Some of us, I dare say, are being pummeled by the enemy right now. And the reason we're being pummeled is because we have moved ourselves out of a place of submission. We're wanting all of God's blessing without living under His wings. We've moved ourself away from them. So I just want to encourage you today to really take a few minutes this week and take stock of your position with the Lord. Are you trying to be self-sufficient? Uh, are you trying to move to what yourself wants, to what your flesh wants, fulfilling maybe even the lust of your flesh and thinking you can resist the devil from that place? You can't. It's a lie of the enemy. God opposes our pride, but he gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. That's a promise. Some of you need to take some stock in your submission today. 
Being pummeled by the enemy is not the inheritance of God's children. But God will resist the proud. But to him who submits, you can resist the devil. And he will flee. If your heart was encouraged today, please know that we have many other resources available for you. You can discover all of those at reclaiminghearts.org.